welcome back to my lifestyle channel. Today I have some really exciting news. One, it's my first video back from Vlogmas. <laughs> That isn't a vlog. <laughs> um, but two, I have two new bath bomb or scents for my bubbly shop and I had to share them with you. So you guys can see, really hope this doesn't fall. It's just a cork board up on like my little table back here. So if it falls on me in a minute, I guess it'll be a good blooper reel for you guys. But um, yeah, my podcast, if you didn't know, I have a true crime podcast. I love true crime. I love talking about it. I'm currently doing spooky season still. Um, well, I just wrapped on it. We're doing the wrap up episode, probably the week you guys see this. Um, the wrap up episode will be coming and then um, season five will be coming soon after and we're going to be back into deep true crime shit. So um, I will have the podcast linked down below, but the podcast is mine and the bubbly shop is mine. So I'm kind of collaborating with myself, but I have had so much fun combining the two. And I wanted to share it here with you guys because I did a video on my last um, bubbly the holiday sweets that are sadly gone now. They're all done and off of my my shop, but we had to make way for caffeine and crime. I will have some more bath bombs coming very soon if these are not your vibes. Valentine's Day is around the corner. Really exciting. Biggest collection I have had yet is coming um, and it'll probably be next week. So the shop is linked down below, of course, as well, but keep an eye on it. You guys can also follow Bubbly Shop on Instagram and you can stay there for updates as well. So those are coming. If these are not your cup of tea, they will be there, but um, you can also find Caffeine and Crime on Instagram at Caffeine Crime Podcast. I know this is a lot. I will have it in the description for you, but let's go ahead and talk about what we're here for. These are the beloved formula of bubbly. I, I get so excited every single time I get feedback on my bubbly products and everyone loves my bath bombs so much. They are not your typical foaming bath bombs, but they're going to float at the top and just dis burst these bubbles and fizz and change the color of your water. And the thing about them is that they are non-GMO organic, but they're also super moisturizing. And you wouldn't think that as much with a bath bomb like you would some other things, but these are hella moisturizing. And I've tweaked the formula so many times. Um, the relaunch this year with them, I have it to the perfect consistency that I like, and so far the feedback has been amazing. Um, they used to be a little bit more moisturizing, but I felt like it was a little too intense, so I've toned it down a little bit, but they're still super moisturizing. And I'm very open about ingredients and all of that. You can check it out on the shop. All ingredients are posted there. And yeah, I'm super proud of these. But with Caffeine and Crime, I had to go on style with that. And that's how I created these two here. So we have a cute one that is this tan brown shade and there's these little coffee beans painted on top. These are hand painted by me. And um, on the back you have your sticker which has coffee beans on it and it says caffeine because this is called caffeine. This is the caffeine part, but it smells of coffee. It smells so delicious. Um, it honestly smells like when you walk into the, like when you hit your Keurig or turn your coffee pot on and then you walk out for a minute and you walk back in, it smells like freshly brewed coffee. It smells so good. If you are a coffee fanatic, you will love this, but um, if coffee is not your thing, that's why we have crime. So this is crime. You can see the sticker has white and then a blood splatter and it says crime on it. And that's what's going on here. So this is a white bath bomb. Um, I wanted to mention with the caffeine, you're going to get a little bit of tint to your bath water, but it's not going to be like a crazy amount because it is just like a brown, you know, it'll probably just be like a 
cream brown tint. Where with this one, you're not gonna get a lot of color payoff either because the whole base of this bath bomb is white and the base smells like cupcake. I wanted something that was gonna go really well with the coffee smell and I thought a lot of the time when people are drinking coffee and they're eating something with it, a lot of the time it is something sweet like a donut or pastry or something like that. But I was like, cupcake because you can play off of it. And that's exactly what I did. So it looks, you can kind of see like it looks like all gory and oozy and stuff, but it's honestly a drip and I'll insert some photos and stuff too, but it is a drip drizzle that I put over them to make the blood splatter. And um, it is scented like strawberry. So this bath bomb all together smells like a strawberry cupcake. It is so delicious. I love it. It's one of my favorites now. Um, I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea having a gory bath bomb, but I'm super proud of them and I love the scent so much and I just feel like they both complement each other very well and I love my podcast. I'm so excited. December 31st, I hit one year of having my podcast, which is so exciting. I've had four different seasons and going into my fifth one, it was just like the perfect time to launch these. So I'm super proud of them. You can get them both since these are my standard round ones. This is my standard size right here, which is 2.7 uh, inches and I believe 4.5 ounces. I've been doing so much stuff on my shop lately, like updating things and that type of ordeal that I'm kind of like all over the place, but I believe that is right. Again, they're always on there. And then this is my big guy. He is a big bath bomb. Um, this is the three inches. It's usually over three inches, but standard is three inches and up um, because these are all handmade. But um, yeah, you can kind of see the difference between the two. I have two of my caffeine ones right here. So this is my standard and this is the three inches and I believe this is seven to seven and a half ounces. Again, it's all on my site and you can get either size. And I also offer these standard sizes of both caffeine and crime together into a set. So you can get on there and kind of see all of that, but I really appreciate the love and support of Caffeine and Crime and Bubbly. It means so much to me. I'm so excited to continue my journey with both of them this year. Um, and since it is a podcast, I had to do it. I made, I didn't make, I ordered from my girl, Alyssa. She's my sticker girl. And I had her do some Caffeine and Crime stickers. I always see these podcasts do stickers and pens and, you know, that type of ordeal. And I wanted to have a little something. These are going to be put in the box with every order. So if you order one Caffeine, one Crime, or both of them together, you will get a sticker. And I'm just so excited about these. I'm actually going to be sticking mine. I want to get a clear laptop case so I can just start sticking all my stickers all over my laptop case. And this will definitely be right smack in the middle. <laughs> I love it though. I love how it turned out. It is exactly the same as my small stickers that are on the bottom to label these bath bombs, but they're together and it's just bigger to an actual sticker for my podcast. Oh, I love it so much, but they will be coming with every order no matter which one of these you order. If you're not into true crime, but you love coffee, you might just get a true crime sticker because I'm gonna make sure <laughs> I include it with every single one of them. But yeah, short video today, but I wanted to get it on here to tell you guys that they are available. As of now, I don't know when they'll be leaving. They may end up being a permanent addition just because caffeine and crime is my baby. So they may just stay on there. We will see. But um, I feel like coffee is a pretty standard one to keep. So that's why they may just stay there. And Halloween time, you might like a true crime bath bomb around that time. But like I said, really exciting things are coming. My biggest launch to date is coming just around the corner, literally probably like next week. So if coffee is not your thing, if a strawberry cupcake is not your thing, I don't know how that's not your thing. But if it's not and you want something for Valentine's Day, stay tuned because I am really excited and I'm going to be filming a whole video on them as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching today. More lifestyle content is coming. I'm not just going to be making videos for my brand. <laughs> 
Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.